pity, sadness, uh, anger, empathy. Oh, these are all emotions that are raised uh, long ago for go in order to weaponize, be weaponized against an ancient war. These were the Daleks, uh, eternal nemesis uh, of a race of a doctor. For, a, for ages, uh, they fought each other. All the time, the doctor finding some kind of way to repel them and almost uh, make their entire race extinct. Uh, yet again, uh, they surface more, once more and more. And so, kind of like we, because of uh, Joker immunity kind of thing, uh, they're bound to return at least one per season. It's almost like a contract yeah. thing. Thus, it, 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 is, it is actually. Thus, in this episode, uh, we get of the official return of the Daleks uh, in the modern series, uh, but not in the way you may think. Uh, usually, it's a more grand invasion or kind of thing, but we want to start things a bit more subtly. But you'll see. Uh, so, start the episode uh, right as it's about to start uh, be with the vaccine right before the episode starts. Uh, in three, two, one, click. Um, basically, audience, uh, welcome to Doc Back to Doctor Who. Well, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Oh, well, hello. So, yeah, this episode takes place in a museum. In America. Yay! Although I'm pretty sure it was still uh, shooting Cardiff. Yeah. Um, basically, yeah. Utah. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> uh, Shiri, you, you didn't also, tell me. Also, enjoy some Easter eggs uh, from the Procuno Classic series. Uh, plus, as a leafy in. Uh, you didn't tell armor. me Cardiff National Museum moved to America. There are Welsh-speaking uh, groups in America, so yeah. The rest of it, the rest of it's the, the all the scenes we're going to see later on are filmed in the Millennium Stadium. Huh. Oh hi. Oh, a Cyberman. That's that's for another time, though. We're not. Uh, we don't want to rush things up. Let's just say that the Doctor did not make just friends uh, in his journey. Yeah, well... I don't know, at the times this old Cyberman looked kind of dopey. It's the tears, at least. Yeah. Uh, well... <sighs> Gee, Doctor, maybe touching something in a museum was a bad idea. FBI, open up! Yeah. Um, hi. Uh, come here often? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, everywhere I, I, everywhere I go, I think... Do, do I keep, do I keep heading up, I keep heading up in Cardiff, even though I say it's London. And, and someone points for guns. Uh, what, 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 what did, did Cardiff kill your families? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, Luis. Remember that uh, this doctor is Scottish, so obviously we're No, he's from, the no he's from the north of England. <laughs> Isn't the Cleston Scottish? No, no he's that's, from. That's Stan. That's Stan. Uh, and Scottish. my bad. Uh, my You're apologies. Dead. You're dead to me, to you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that helicopter had a code name called Bad Wolf. Uh, How many of those things are called Bad Wolf? It's just like a common. Anyway, do you oh, who's playing the, the director? Is the uh, Henry Van Staten, uh, Corey With that Johnson. Yeah, Corey Johnson, the act, the, probably the actual only legit American <laughs> actor in this in this show, in, in this episode. Sorry, she's Australian, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, I think Corey Johnson's like a, an American expat. At, oh. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about what happened with that actor recently, so uh, look, look him up on the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although he, he also, he's also loved to uh, voice act. Recently he was in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for some reason. Corey Johnson? Yeah. As uh, Amaltus. Oh, again, I've, I've, wasn't Xenoblade Chronicles voice acting done in the UK? Yes. 
Anyway, the, the, the personnel of the museum is studying something. <laughs> it just looks safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I trust this guy I just met. It's like a knock a read now. Yep. Musical instrument done by the gent done by the deft act of stroking. Yeah. Gently, okay. Roll, roll, roll your finger gently down the instrument. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That sounds more like a song that she feet if it is shades of grey would do. <laughs> he just throws it on the table. Yeah, fu fuck the thing. <laughs> So, yeah, unfortunately, this museum curator is kind of a cartoony Saturday morning villain. In a sense that uh, he's, not, he, he's not like he has, like, war domination in his plan. He's just a dick. Like, pure and simple. <laughs> also, yeah, apparently he owns the internet. That, that, go figure. <laughs> Um, it's a museum, so I was browsing. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it has a name, you know. English is not a nickname. <laughs> well, I mean, if we're talking about Johnny English, then I guess... That... Yeah. The Beltron. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the thing, though. I've, 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 I've never, I've never seen anyone touch this. But well, but it's, okay, the episode's called Daleks, so of course it's the freaking Daleks. What a and surprise! I've never seen anyone touch a Dalek and catch fire. I don't remember that specifically. But I can imagine something that may happen. The Daleks are basically gigantic living weapons, so they may have a mechanism of, uh, you know, yeah. self-defense of that kind of way. Ooh, torture mm -hmm. weapons. So, yeah. All right. I think this is the historical voice actor for the Daleks. No, actually. Oh, it's a new one. Okay. Yeah, the Daleks, like I said, forego all kind of emotions and good oh, intentions uh, to be sterile, uh, sterile killing machines, uh, devoted entirely to the extermination of everything outside of them. But yeah, apparently, yeah, in case you think, oh, that, that's just very goofy, it's just a tin can with a plunger and a pencil. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You you want you that's, underestimate the Daleks you get fried. But, but Tia, it's that, a premium tin can with a pencil and a bunch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why the actor who played the third Doctor didn't like the Daleks. What? <laughs> the, John Pertwee. He, 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 he's, he's he's always he's always said he never liked the Daleks. For I the, don't think you're supposed to like them, Richard. You... <laughs> no, I meant I meant he, uh, no, I, meant I know. Like I think design. Cool. Yeah, I know. But apparently this Dale this is a weird thing because the Daleks never travel alone. This is a single uh, uh, specimen of the other species. And it's very damaged, so something happened. Yeah. 
And we get another bombshell. The Doctor managed to find... Oh, Jesus. Found a way to destroy the entire Dalek race. Uh, yeah, uh, no, maybe I don't. I don't know. Day of the Doctor's confusing. Yeah, we've got a long way to go before we get to that. It's just not a so, bad episode. It's just well, it's weird. Ooh. Uh. Yeah. Uh, so all the Time Lords are. Well, we know that now, but it was caused by the Doctor. Yeah, so on a technical level, Dweebs, uh, the entire race of the Time Lords has been killed off screen. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the worst thing. Not that I really have uh, p pity for them, because uh, the, dog the Time Lords are not exactly a race that you want to empathize for, but... Uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Well, mine yeah. is a bit confusing because in the TV movie, the master was put the master was put on trial on the Daleks' home planet. That's uh, for another time. Yeah, we're, we're the same. Yeah, that's another thing. Because uh, the Doctor managed to triumph so many times uh, over the race, the Daleks shit themselves just by the mere mention of his name. He's become the only thing that even in their state, uh, they dread. He's kind of like the Doom Marine in that sense. And the Daleks are basically the only major species uh, where the Doctor doesn't even try diplomacy, he just wants them dead. Well, to be fair, the Daleks are like... The Daleks are indiscriminate, at least. They kill everything yeah. and everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Recognize me. <laughs> that you demanded orders, you just don't Oh, that's right, orders. I forgot yes. about this guy. Yeah, we're gonna introduce also to this guy. I forgot what he's called. Uh, uh, Simmons? He's British Canadian. No, the, uh, I forgot um, his other name. Uh, whatever. I'll, I'll mention it later. Um, Basically. Which which guy? The guy. The one that talks. Sorry? The, the, the one that talks with Rosa, sorry. Oh, yeah. I, I already mentioned him. He's the one that I'd, I said I wouldn't mention. I'm not going to mention about what the actor's been up to recently. Whatever. But... Regardless of the actor, the character will stick around for a bit. Let's just say that. And I'm not sure if I like that, regardless. Uh, no Actually, one likes Adam. No. I, like, c congratulations, Sean. You managed the accomplishment of making someone worse than Rosie in their own series. And he's not even in the show that long. Is it like this and the next one, and then bam, he's gone. At least forgot. And he's even forgot. I don't even think he's referenced uh, in the future. Okay, so um, the, while this is going on, um, yeah, there was uh, a lot of there was a lot of debate. There's a lot of stuff going on that kind of put in doubt whether the Daleks would appear in this show at all. Why? Uh, basically, um, um, this this the show went through a lot of different versions. Uh, the writer Robert Sherman, um, who is a quite famous writer around here, um, uh, he had a lot of other stuff in mind because the the nation is the the estate. Of the guy who created the Daleks, the Nation Estate, mm. um, they 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 actually hold the rights for the Daleks, not the BBC. So it's kind of a tricky situation, including them in yeah, the show. Yeah, basically, basically that they couldn't agree with the BBC to get the Daleks in the show because the BBC licensed the Daleks out too much, apparently, according to them. So, <laughs> so it was like it was like a it was like a long deal. It was like a long, long talks going on, 
but the the, the BBC managed to get the rights. Probably, but yeah, not license them per se. But but the, but the key thing is, if the Daleks don't appear in an episode during a year, then the rights just that, go that, back to the nation, the state, and the BBC got to start from scratch. And considering uh, that, so that, that and, that's why the Daleks appear at least once per season. And considering this, sh- the new, the recent series is just going on. Uh, big thing that they're having all new villains, not recurring ones. You think the Daleks are finally gone for good? Maybe, which would be a shame. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, in the meantime, Rose, guess what? She's doing another stupid decision. Uh, Oops. Shouldn't have said that to this douche nozzle. Yeah. yeah. Oh. See what I mean? This guy is a cartoon villain. The f- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently, he is so freaky. Yeah, and also, you saw earlier, if he fight, if he. When he, whenever he fires somebody, which is quite often apparently, he'll have their memory erased and sent to some random place of beginning with a letter he picks. <laughs> like the last guy, he said he had him fired, had his mem- his mind erased, and uh, sent him off to somewhere in the United States beginning with M. Yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah, this guy's an idiot, uh, pure and simple. Yeah, now shut up. <laughs> Yeah, 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 shut up. We heard that shit before. <laughs> oh, Billy, here we go. Oh, not again. <laughs> um, uh, Tio, how long do we have... To, how long should that list be of stupid things Rose does? Yeah. It's about well, to get so another far, edition. She hasn't really done a whole lot, but this is where she kind of takes it to 11. And funny thing is, Russell T. Davis is so in love with the character of Rose, and yet she fucks up a lot. So, yeah, like I mentioned before about uh, cutting with emotions, but that doesn't mean that the Daleks are stupid. Uh, on the contrary, they're actually really smart. They can come up with very convoluted plans to take over our civilizations, and in this case, they can emotionally manipulate. Uh, other beings that are clueless about their nature, and then and then later on, and then later on, like thirty of them are firing at one guy who escapes just by power siding under a door. <laughs> Fucking Moffat. <laughs> just the time will count. with the story. Yeah, uh, actually, the, the guy. Okay, okay. Basically, there are two people playing a Dalek at any one time. The guy in the out, the guy in the in the in the thing, and the voice. And base and how it works is basically, um, whenever they film, um, what the the guy while the guy is speaking, he always does like a signal after every syllable to let the guy know when to light the thing at the, on the dome. And there you go. Oh no, you got Rose running through you now. I actually kind of feel bad for the Dalek. So yeah, because they're marvels of engineer, the Daleks just need some, just a sample of genetic material to become oh, yeah, love, operative love this again. Line. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wow, 
Wow, the Doctor recovered quickly from being uh, tortured. I think he suffered worse, honestly. Yeah. So, yeah. Codes. Charles play. Yep. We're just that good. Yeah. Why are y'all still standing here? Uh, they think they can, well, they against you, they haven't shown that, that, you know, that's impervious to bullets. To be fair, he actually has a weak spot, but, uh, surprisingly, the doctor did not tell them. And yet they're gonna blame Van Guys, St it's not working! <laughs> and yet they're gonna blame Van Staten for, uh, half the deaths here. Later on. This channel is terminated. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's there's still a guy there. There's, there's there still... you go. <laughs> Trying new chromatic car. Okay, there he goes. He's running out. He just can. Wow, it drained the whole west coast of the US. Yeah, I don't understand that either. And yeah, one of the most powerful weapons at disposal of a Dalek is uh, basically a concentrated laser. Why the Peter Cushing movies turned it into a gas machine, I have no idea. <laughs> Because that's intimidating. Totally. Gas. Gas, gas, gas. I'm gonna step on the gas. <laughs> um, Doctor, you're the expert. You're not gonna. Yeah, okay, I know the episode blames Van Staten for these deaths, and yeah, it is sort of his fault, but the Doctor's not helping them either. Yeah. He's the expert, and he's not saying nothing. Maybe it's because he's consumed by fear of the Daleks or something? And, and rage. Yeah. I don't think anything's going to scratch it. You don't have yeah. to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Certainly not them. Well. That's, uh, that, that, I can't that remember. Shit happens, world. Can we throw this douchebag to the Dalek and then just Please. go home? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Historically, the weakness of the Daleks has been stairs, but yeah. the, but even but in the class even in the classic series, albeit very late on, they got around the Daleks got around stairs. It was in, it well, was in, the, it was in the, the Seventh Doctor episode, Resurrection of the Daleks. Well, here we just decided to basically confirm that. Uh, hey, stairs new, are hard, okay? <laughs> a new nifty gadget for the Dalek. Should have had Jova here. He could have told us whether these accents were any good. What well, other than. Does oh, Yuta even have an, has an accent? I don't know. I mean, well, other than Corey Johnson, because you know, Corey Johnson's an American himself. It's just an expatriate living around here. And, and, and there we go. Basically, they gave propellers or some kind to the Daleks. Levitators. So, yeah, run. Now. Uh, guys. Move. Shift. Jesus, fuck. Well, they're shifting. Oh no, these people would be so easy to kill. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Rose did you, pleb? Yeah, it was Rose who did it. Uh, well, I'll call you. Don't blame Rose for anything. She's a cinnamon roll. Well, she didn't do well, anything. Mine, mine. <laughs> Maxi, uh, Father's Day did do that. We'll get uh, to you. Yeah. <laughs> also, we're on level 52. Just with the two more, it would have been level 5. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, uh, Doctor, why didn't you tell us this earlier, you asshole? Half I our men are dead. Is... Seriously, I think there's times where Robert Sherman just didn't really think... Like yeah. he blames, he had the Doctor blame Van Staten for something Rose did. The Doctor's angry at Van Staten for letting the Dalek out, even though he didn't tell the troops the weaknesses because he's the because the Doctor's the expert on them. Plot. It's kind of making the bad. It's kind of making the Doctor an asshole. I think that's kind of the idea. But not that much, though. Surely that's 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 like the unintentional kind of asshole. But yeah, it seems that the Dalek was particularly interested in Rose again, for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, okay, she's played by Billy Piper, but I like not for nothing. But sorry for her in general, but I don't think she's that attractive. I guess the issue really is the character she's playing. You're not even aiming at the eye stalk, you... You... <laughs> <laughs> You'll think uh, when you should try hitting the glowing dot. Oh, but the, the Dalek wants them to see. Are we going to be here all day? Just until they run out of bullets. If you're not going to shoot the eye stalk, maybe shoot the levitator or something. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's right there. These poor guards are not even trying. It's Friday, Ben! Friday, <laughs> <laughs> Ben! Jeez. See, Daleks have a sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. A pretty dark uh, one, uh -oh. but a sense of humor, anyway. See? There you go, just, uh, I mean, guard stupidity aside, just a thing. Just a single Dalek can do this. So. What did the Dalek, okay, uh, what did the Dalek do there? Was the floor made out of metal? Well, no, Dweebs, uh, even if it's just uh, traditional concrete, uh, if there is a white surface uh, and if there is an electrocution, it can propagate. But what about the yeah. what about the clothes they're wearing? Doesn't it was a bit exposed? Remember, we were also drenched. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, damn it! Maybe I should have told it earlier. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. When 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 you travel through time, you get like um, bits on you. Yeah, it's gonna be explored also later on on the eleventh Doctor run. <laughs> Make your own orders. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah.
That's all uh, they live for. Yeah. Well, now what are they going to do? There you go. A Dalek with an existential crisis. Uh. Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Anger that kind of phrase, does that to you. That phrase you want to be like is gonna be a recurring one for these all the new doctors. Mm-hmm. Quick, run! Actually, no, Rose, go talk to it. You'll be great help, trust me. <laughs> yeah. Run faster, quick, quick! <laughs> How do they have the stamina for this? Um, because, uh, well, they have different takes, Shiroi. Press yeah, the enter button because it's that simple. <laughs> oh, not a big red button. Well, <laughs> that would that, be a bit too cliche, I think. Mm. Quick, Rose, quick! <laughs> come on, Rose, you don't even try. <laughs> I'm coming, damn it. Give me a second. Some now people roll. are just not that agile. Well, Adam made it. Oh. Oh. It's like those Sonic the Prancing comics. I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> what a shame. Oh well. <laughs> she doesn't accept <laughs> the sacrifice. Wow. Needs must. <laughs> yeah, it was mine. I mean, I even admitted it earlier, but um, you no, it's that stupid me. American guys. <laughs> well, well, Rose admitted it was her fault. To be fair, it's just well, the doctor just blamed like Satan. I like more than him, so I'm fine for blaming him and only him. And that's it. Rose is dead. Yay! I mean, oh, w what a shame. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Just love all, all the way Exus don't overact. So. What the hell happened with For the Dark World is beyond me. Well, Eccleston's in a lot of TV shows around here. Main, mo mostly dramas. I think Eccleston's even admitted he's not that good at comedy stuff. I can imagine. I think he has anyway. Uh, Shiri, have you seen Eccleston in anything else? I don't think so. Alright. Um, well, the, the, so apparently the Dalek is a really shitty shot. Yeah. At point blank. Also, that close up of Rose, I do not need to stare at every single pore of her face. So thank <laughs> You have contaminated me with your stupidity! 
What are these feelings? <laughs> oh? Yeah, this is very uncharacteristic. Daleks normally do not take hostages. Well, let's not go that far. Yeah. Isn't the power gonna drain from the base? Yeah. So now what? The hair dryer? No. <laughs> that is not a hair dryer. <laughs> Your A levels. <laughs> So, uh, looks like Emily Van Staten's gonna get up and close, up close and personal with his pet. I can see anywhere, any situation of this going wrong. Also, the doctor's very trigger happy. Yes, he's ready to rip and tear. Yeah, again, like I said earlier to you, ex existential crisis. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that guy's face is. <laughs> Come on, Rose, give us this pleasure, please. <laughs> Don't you can't me. take this away from us. <laughs> what was that line from this one princess? Uh, what else is there? You should write a book, uh, how to disappoint a woman in four words or less. <laughs> so the Dalek wants freedom. From Okay, so uh So if you blow if you blow a bit of the roof off the Millennium Stadium you get <laughs> sunlight. Yay. Bullshit. <laughs> you get rain and you'll like it. <laughs> is it this sunny in is it is it normally this sunny in Cardiff, Shuri? No. <laughs> We're clearly in London right now. <laughs> So, inside the Dalek is Squidward. Yeah, this is what we, lo we actually look like. Well, we used to be. Well, yeah, in, they used in, to look differently, but this is a result. of They subjected themselves to experimentations, and that's in, what um, they became. In old Doctor Who, in in some of the earlier classic episodes of Doctor Who, the Daleks were just bumper cars with weapons but in a story Genesis of the Daleks they were retconned with, to these things we're gonna get more elaboration even later on mm. um it's trying to be squid with this set. But Daleks don't change. 
Rose now Rose is gonna now Rose is getting Fuck all off, that. Rose. You you really don't have the moral ground yeah, here. The doctor's face kind of echoes everyone <laughs> at the moment. But I can't I was I Poor poor doctor. Because the BBC wants to. He's still know, having yeah. his existential crisis. Yeah, he, yeah like, the, like the doctor is like, he has one of those captions. If only you knew how bad things really are. Well, yeah, I know why you survived. The, 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 BBC, the BBC loves marketing you. <laughs> and merchandising. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, no. I don't want a rose Dalek. You. Yeah, Daleks believe in absolute purity of their race. Which also was tied to the cleansing of the emotions. Yeah. If only a select few Daleks got more than just blind hatred. So it's like a mercy kill or something. This yeah, now yeah. for some for, for some reason now this has turned into a euthanasia uh, like metaphor. Huh. Well, who wouldn't be standing next to a squid in a tin? <laughs> That's right, go to sleep. And then the Dalek trick them and uh, exterminates them both. <laughs> like, I want to house you with an end of the episode like that. <laughs> oh. And that's it. Yep. Nothing left. So, what about Van Staten? Hmm. Oh. It was Rose's fault. <laughs> and he's Actually, and he's... it was Rose, but you know what? Whatever. And he's never gonna show up again. So... Thank God. Yeah. He'll be on the streets of somewhere beginning with S. Yay! The war is over and the Doctor wins! Yeah. And all the Daleks are dead. Shit, <laughs> uh, wait, shit, wait. Do you honestly think the BBC would allow that? Well. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the stain, uh, the ultimate stain of the episode. Douche Nozzle here wants to tag along. Oh god, we're dragging him with us. We could not drag Mickey, but this. <laughs> Mickey I, won. I know, I know that Mickey was his own choice, but it was clearly written that way, so, yeah. Get in the box. Yeah, yeah, it's bigger on the inside. Let's move on. Now. There you go. But what are they going to do with the pieces? Uh, we're just going to get cemented, I guess. Or sold at auction or something, I don't know. Oh, God, mm. this next... Oh, boy, this next episode. All right. So, yeah, in this, post... in this possible future, yeah. we see the United... Simon, and Simon the... Pegg. <laughs> yep.
Simon Pegg with a goatee beard. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, uh, basically, welcome to the episode of um, of brain opening, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but for, yeah. but for now about this one uh, Stupidity of Rose aside uh, It was okay A good reintroduction of the Daleks Don't worry, they'll show up again As Dweeb's told mm -hmm. Yeah, again, They'll show up a lot <laughs> Again, do you really think the BBC is just going to let them go off that easily? No <laughs> It's kind of sad On a narrative standpoint Because it means the Doctor will never get rid of them properly But unless uh, When they got rid of anything properly the Gelf of so they far, need to yes. torture him mentally for the sake of the plot. <laughs> anyway, see you for episode 7. Alright, see ya. See ya.